Welcome to the Dragon Den Discourse. I'm your host, Jonathan Adam. And I'm your other host, Brock Gamble. So, this is our first podcast. Well, our first one that we actually are getting to upload finally. Our first official one, because we've had battles with editors, like, every time. Yeah. And this is our, like, our fourth time uploading, well, recording? Yeah, third or fourth, I think. I don't know. Uh, Because we actually did get one last week, but we're not able to do it, because we we just had some mix-ups with how we were supposed to go about it. No, we had the week before, because last week I went to the Renaissance Festival on Monday. That's right, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. So, last few weeks we haven't got to, but finally... This is it. Yeah, this is the. We episode. are here. We are. Uh, and what a better time because we got a heck of a week ahead of us right now. Yeah, we have two days off, which first of all is fantastic because I don't know about you, but I like sleeping in. I but... absolutely love sleeping in, especially if you get it have... Monday and Friday. Yeah, absolutely. We also have. Is it an alternative schedule tomorrow? Yes, alternative schedule for Wednesday, October eighteenth. Um, you can find any of those schedules either online or you can ask any of your teachers. They should all have one to provide you. You can take a picture of. Um, if not, you can probably find one on one of the bulletin boards. In the yeah, I'm, I'm sure they'll be around. Uh, do you remember what it's for exactly? I think it's for underclassmen. I think it's just a general class meeting because I've heard that it's um, sophomores and juniors or freshmen and juniors, one of the two. Mm-hmm. Um it might just be like an overall meeting because I think there's also a dance planned in the yeah. near future. Is it state testing? Is that oh, it? it might be the pre-ACT or SAT, whatever. Pre-ACT. That's right. Yeah, because that's what I, I remember doing that. Yeah, because yeah, it's pre-ACT, SAT, because juniors have to take one of them. I forget which one. Mm-hmm. And then freshmen always get the rundown of, hey, in two years, you're doing this. Yeah, so it would be freshmen and junior because freshmen are doing pre-ACT. And last year, I remember doing the ACT. Yeah. So that that's... That, that makes a lot more sense. I remember that now. Yeah. Um, as for club activities, uh, today, the 17th, book club is meeting, and we're actually voting on a shirt design. Ooh. I actually put mine in for the first time in three years because I've been to book club for three years. Um, nice. And I hope that I win because, A, I want a free shirt, and, B, that would be just, that's just really cool to have your shirt win. Yeah, I mean, you just get a look at your own design. You, you make it on whatever, whether it be on paper, whether it be on a computer, and then all of a sudden it's just on a shirt that everyone is wearing. Yeah, that's I got awesome. a, I got a sneak peek at the designs, and someone drew it on a sticky note. And <laughs> I'm not dissing them at all. Like, good on like, you. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really cool. Don't get me wrong. But, like, <laughs> how are we going to order that? <laughs> like, um, yeah, I mean, hey, if the design's cool, the design's cool, and it can easily be translated to yeah, something it, else. That's, it is what it is, yeah. really. It's great stuff. Uh, that's cool. Um, other than that, it looks like we also have an FCA meeting today, D&D club meeting, um, wrestling, boys soccer, and Parsons, JV and V. So that's pretty cool. We got a whole lot of stuff going on today. Yeah, we also have wrestling open mats. Um, we have the uh, varsity girls golf at State, actually, which is Hutchinson. And uh, volleyball here, and it's the try, whatever that means, um, Parsons and Elsie. Is try just three games? Maybe. <laughs> I, I'm not a volleyball guy by all means. Me neither. I don't keep up with it as much, which I should yeah. because it's a cool sport. I yeah. enjoy it. Let's take a look at tomorrow. So Wednesday, what are we looking at? Football pasta feed? <laughs> what? <laughs> From 5, p- from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., you can also and join in on the football pasta feed in the cafeteria. I, I don't know if it's something anyone can join. It's probably it's for football probably players. Just football. Isn't, yeah, because this weekend, don't we have football? Yeah, uh, yeah, there's a football game this Friday. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure pasta feeds are, like, made to build carbs because carbs mm-hmm. are those, like, short-acting energy bursts. Yes. Um, other than that culinary club meeting in room 705 tomorrow. All right, yeah, we got a whole lot of cool stuff coming up. And then the American History Through Baseball class is going to the Baseball Museum. Yeah, I remember hearing about that today, actually. That sounds really cool. Yeah, that actually sounds really interesting, because, hey, you mm-hmm. get to go to Kansas City, which yeah. is... Dr. Foster was talking about that today, wasn't she? Yeah, she was, actually. <laughs> yeah, she was talking about getting photographers over there. That's cool. Yeah, that's, that's going to be interesting. All right, and then we look at the last day of the week, Thursday, believe it or not. Yeah, we have a GBL meeting in the fishbowl or the collaboration room if you're a freshman. During study hall. Yeah. 
Uh, we got a key club meeting in the cafeteria. Uh, you should know where the cafeteria is. During study hall as well. <laughs> um, math club meeting, room 224. Is that also study hall? That is during study hall. <laughs> and then D&D in the cafeteria. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, no, D&D's not during study hall. Yeah, that's after school. Like... 3.30 to 4.30, <laughs> yeah. cool. Uh, we have JV, Varsity Boys Soccer at Independence, also after school. That'll be from 4.30 to 7.30. And then once again, the wrestling open mat, uh, 4.30 to 5.30. And the baseball open gym, which is the main gym, that'll be from 5.45 p.m. to 7.15 p.m. You know, something I've never understood is why we schedule things at 4.30 when we get out at, like, 3.30. Because, mm-hmm. like, I, I understand going home and whatnot, but if it's for, like, a sport, because for debate, we have these work nights that are right after school. Right. But for, like, wrestling open mats, I, I don't know why they do it an hour after. Yeah, I think it's because some people either have to do a few things after school to get around. Um, maybe some people have to give rides or something. Uh, and it just gives people an opportunity to get around so then they can meet. Um, but even 4.30 seems a little late. Like, I even think 4 would do. But after school traffic can be pretty hectic. Uh, yeah, that gets that gets real painful. Yeah, uh, I'm not home till 4 on most days. It's, yeah. it's just hard to get out of there. It, yeah, we park really close to the entrance when we leave, mm-hmm. and so we're, like, in front of the crosswalk, and so I jump in and we just drive. Of course, we abide by the, the laws. Right, I, mean, I hope so. <laughs> we do the give one, take one as well, where it's, like, one person goes, then you go, and then the person behind you goes. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it, we, um, by the way, if you're not doing that, I'm watching you. Yeah, no, we we can see you. Yeah, we know. I don't drive over the median. That's a really good way to kill someone. It's it's very dangerous. You need to have responsible driving rules, please, yes. for everyone's safety. I'm I have my eye on you. I'm writing down the <laughs> name plates as we speak. <laughs> he has his clipboard. He's in the passenger seat. No one's in the driver's seat. He's parked. And he's just like, hmm. <laughs> I'm like a I'm like a cop without a badge or a gun. <laughs> You're like a cop, but without everything that makes him a cop. <laughs> exactly. I'm a cop, just a lot more judgmental and less dangerous. <laughs> And the last day, which we do not have school Friday the 20th, which is great, but for us varsity football players, I say us, I'm not a varsity <laughs> football player. All right, man, for, the, <laughs> <laughs> for the varsity football players. Uh, wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> not even wrestling. I read Wichita is wrestling. <laughs> This is, let's restart. Friday, October 20th, varsity football players, not me, will be going to Wichita North, where they'll be playing in Wichita North, 7, uh, 7 p.m., and they'll probably be playing till roughly 9.30 p.m. Hold on, you're telling me people going to Wichita North for football are playing football at Wichita North? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who would have guessed? Crazy yeah, thought. Absolutely. Thank you, Tuba. Thank you, Tuba. <laughs> but a little inside joke we got over here. <laughs> but other than that, that seems to be all of the news that we have. Um, which, I mean, hey, we got a lot of good stuff to talk about. Hey, better uh, than our first week we tried this. First week we tried this, we ended up just going on like some weird rant because we had a whole like three things to talk about. Yeah, it was less than three things. We made up like, not made up as in right. like, fabric. Just had to like improv. We, yeah. Yeah, we were just sitting there, ran out of material at one point, like, so, a real dragon should be visiting us <laughs> next week. <laughs> uh, I love when we go against Chanute, and they call us the fantasy creatures, but then we win against Chanute. <laughs> <laughs> we should we should have a dragon fly over the football field every time we score a goal. We should. Like, even Wait, <laughs> score a goal? <laughs> I score get, a, get, a, get a touchdown. <laughs> I I am sport. <laughs> yeah, sports ball. <laughs> yeah. As someone that loves football, I'm allowed to make those jokes. <laughs> Did the ball go? <laughs> Did the ball go? <laughs> football? Where's the foot? <laughs> the egg game. <laughs> egg game. Uh, but other than that, that should be all the material that we have today. We have a whole lot of great stuff coming up on this week, so hopefully yeah. you're able to get something from this. Keep an eye, uh, an ear out for your daily announcements. They will also be getting you with all the information as uh, it's being don't released. Don't keep an eye out because Eve does not like being stared at. Yeah, don't don't look at her while she's doing the daily announcement. She'll call you out. <laughs> <laughs> She'll open, not open. She'll take up the phone. She's like, I see you. Stop looking at me. 
knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> She'll dox you. <laughs> you live in Pittsburgh, Kansas. <laughs> You are in the school right now. <laughs> How did she know? <laughs> you live on Earth. <laughs> you exist. <laughs> How did she know? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. But, Keep yeah. an ear out for your daily announcements. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely not an eye. Yeah. <laughs> But other than that, thank you so much for watching the Dragon Den uh, discourse. Yeah, we're working on that name, and we definitely mm -hmm. didn't use ChatGPT to make it. Definitely, definitely not. Didn't. Definitely no, not. We no. definitely, God, we definitely no. didn't. We didn't do that. Several different names. We we didn't go up. through like twelve names, and then eventually <laughs> just had to like look it up. Yeah, do you want to talk about some of the names we came up with? Um, we had two good ones, and then, like, the rest were just non-notable. We were initially going to use the Dragon Digest, but we learned that was what the, uh, the, like, bulletin for teachers is, yeah, so like we couldn't newspaper. use that. Um, and then we were going to do the Purple Pod, but then we found that that was lame. Yeah, I, I, I personally want something more dragon-related. And so why. we're doing the Dragon Den discourse. Which I think just has a ring to it. Yeah, we're the Triple well, D. We're the Triple D. Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that should be it for uh today's episode thank you guys so much for listening in yeah absolutely and we'll see you next week yep bye